Greetings fellow Demon Slayers, this is Time and Amari here today with another video. Before getting started, I do want to say once again, thanks for everyone who has joined the Discord. We have, uh, I think, 240 people now, which is awesome. And the numbers are steadily growing, so anyone interested, the invite to the server will be in the description. Feel free to join, come hang out, shoot the breeze, talk about the game, amongst other things. And with that, we'll get into today's topic. Emily has been 100% confirmed as of I, sometime between last night and this morning. I don't remember the exact timestamp, but the official Action Timing in YouTube did release a 30 second like video of her, just like they did with She Who Shall Not Be Named. So we're definitely getting Emily come Monday. Now I'm, I'm seeing a lot of worry in regards to her, in regards to like the arena. I don't think that it's really like it's kind of an unfounded fear she, she's gonna come out monday but only like the biggest whales are gonna you know go out of their way to buy all the ap potions and like pull her gotcha like maniacs to get her maxed out and it might only be happening in top 100 and at first it may be very few people so I wouldn't worry too much about like Emily dominating like the day of like the day after maintenance. Maybe like a week or two down, sure. But if I go ahead and go to the actual arena here, just for example's sake, people consider Yuki Kaze to be OP, but she's not on every single team in the top 100. So like if I go look at like the top 10 alone, there we go. There is no Yuki Kaze on the number 6 person. There's no Yuki Kaze on the number 8 person. Then like inching down, there's no Yuki Kaze on number 13. There's no Yuki Kaze on number 14. There's no Yuki Kaze on number 16. So on and so forth. I'm not going to like go down the whole list like an annoying person. But as you can see, just like if I s simply scroll down, like you'll see instances where there is not a Yuki Kaze on every team. So, while she is powerful, she's not, she's not everywhere. You can easily, like, reset even playing top 100 as I've been maintaining it. Like, I've been, like, in the top, between top 51 and 100 every week since the arena came out, thank God. Because it's helped me to farm a little bit more gems. But either way, I, I, if I don't want to fight Yuki Kaze with Major, I just reset. And it's pretty easy to find a fight without her if I don't want to deal with her. So, I'm thinking that the same will happen with Emily. I'm thinking not everybody is going to just run her because she's OP. Like, here we have a Shiranui. She's considered pretty weak, but this guy's running her. Crap, I said her name. She who shall not be named. That, that didn't happen. Ignore that. She who shall not be named. He's running this evil person here. And other people run her as well. And she's considered pretty weak in PvP, so... I think it's more of like people are going to use and like gear up who they like. Like here we have a level 75, she Hill shall not be named. This guy has her on his team, he's in the top 100. There's no Yuki here. There's no spin to win Sakura. So, and like the Asagi and the she Who shall not be named are out leveling the Renko here. And this guy is further up on the leaderboard than me. Like, yeah, barring he probably brought more BP potions or used more. But the point being is, you don't have to have an OP character in your team to push up the ladder. You just have to pick and choose your fights wisely. So don't, like, hate Emily just because the devs made her broken, if she really is that bad. And don't expect her to be everywhere, because she probably will not be. Like, I give it a good two to three weeks before Emily is actually like prevalent anywhere outside of the top 100 and even then like I said she's not going to be every fight you get so it's probably an unfounded fear we'll have to wait and see what happens like I'm just speculating but I don't think it'll be as bad as people are making it out to be plus she's adorable so can you really hate her the other thing I want to talk about in regards to Emily Outside of her potentially being a problem in Arena, she is really good in PvE from what I hear. Her auto attack is amazing. The main thing though, is I want to get into the subject of her mileage skin. So, I'm hearing that it's going to be the bunny skin. 
I don't know why they chose to do that because it's not really unique. Like if we look at Renko here, this skin is unique, like there's nothing like it in the game. And then if we look at She Who Shall Not Be Named, again, there's really nothing like this. There will be other wedding skins, but they're not like this. This is a unique look. It feels like, you know, that nice Final Fantasy XIV glamour, like epic WoW armor that only a few people have. Same thing with Renko. And while, yes, everyone has a demon skin, since Renko's would be classified as a demon skin, like... Again, if we just go to Sakura's, this is, a, it's unique. Like, it doesn't look like, you know, it doesn't look like Renko's, and Yuki's doesn't look like either of theirs, if we go look at hers. They're unique looks. My problem with the bunny skin being the potential mileage for Emily is, bunny skins are kind of, like, cut and dry. You can have variations between them, but it's just a bunny skin. There's no real way to make it look super unique, even though they do look different. Like, we have Asagi's here, and then if we go look at Sakura's... It's different from Asagi's, but it still kind of serves a purpose of just being a bunny skin in my eyes. Like, the point I'm making is I don't know if I would go crazy and do 150 pulls for yet another bunny skin. Like, there are differences between them, yes, but they're just not unique enough for me to warrant wanting to do that many pulls for mileage. If Emily is your waifu and, like, you know, what have you, go for it, definitely. Get her mileage skin, spoil your girl. But I feel like this is probably going to be one of the safest mileage skins to skip because you won't feel asked out if you don't get a bunny skin because you have access to three bunny skins as far as the game is concerned. Also, bunny skins, if I'm remembering correctly, Morisaki here, that's pictured in the Time of Trainers, she also has a bunny skin, and her bunny skin is definitely not mileage because her demon skin is mileage, and her demon skin is highly unique. I think people will really like it when she does finally become available, if she does. So, you'll have literally Asagi, Sakura, She Who Shall Not Be Named for bunny skins, and then later more Asagi. So the draw for Emily's bunny skin really doesn't... I don't feel the pull to go for her mileage. I may, like, dump some gems and try to get a weapon for her. But that all depends. Personally, like financially right now, I, I don't think I'll even go for her bundle. I might even wait to get her for gems with most of the free-to-plays. It depends. I do want to get her right away, but money willing, we'll see. If I do get her bundle, then yeah, I might take and use my small amount of gems that I have saved since the Nightmare Gotcha to try and get gear for her, but definitely not pulling mileage on this one, me personally. Because I don't want to pull mileage for, like, yet another bunny skin. And then have something super unique come out. And just totally miss out on it. Because I'm burned out, burnt out from pulling on Emily. So that's just my opinion. Of course, things are subject to change. Her mileage skin may be completely different when we get it here in Global. They may just stick the bunny skin with the skins for gems like every other character. But we'll have to wait and see. Her bunny skin is adorable, though, if you do decide to pull for it. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying it doesn't feel super unique and worthy of mileage. So I've rambled on about Emily long enough. Get hype. She is coming. She will be here after maintenance on Monday. She's super adorable. Her mole is killer. Her gameplay seems really fun. Every time I watch gameplay of her, I'm like, she looks so freaking cool, but... You know, get hyped for, we'll see how things go as far as Arena, and we'll see what happens as far as her mileage skin. The last thing I want to talk about, and then I'll leave you guys for the day, is the new event was confirmed. It is in fact going to be Shinohara Mari. I will say this, I did not name myself after her. Um, my Taimon and Mari name comes from my Fantasy Star character of like many years, like about 15 years I've used this handle in that game. Um, and the name is Miana Mari, so it's just a coincidence. But, yeah, that's the name of my Hyuka Seal and Fantasy Star Online Blue Burst in all versions of that game. 
With that being said, we are getting another Mari joining the Mari clan, and I'm happy to have her as family or as a waifu or whatever she wants to be. She seems super cute. I like that her personality is like the clumsy anime waifu. Um, from what I've looked into, she will be the event boss for this event. The reason I found out about that is because I was looking into characters who have pre-existing 3D models because I'm in the market for a waifu. She's definitely a candidate and she does have a 3D model which you will get to see in the event when you fight her. So partly I'm hoping she may become playable even though it hasn't happened yet and this event was so long ago in JP. It may not happen but if Mari does become a playable character that may be like my waifu because Mari's love each other and Yuki loves torturing Mari's so it's a win for her and a loss for us. We're kind of stuck being abused by Yuki forever. Either way I do have what her ability does. It's in a notepad so let me just read it off to you. Again, this is subject to change, just like the wording on Katagina and Suzune did change for Global. But for right now, Mari's ability would be reduces damage taken while CC'd by X, and her active deals a knockup, dealing X damage, and grants super armor for X seconds. Now the X's will obviously be like her scaling S level, and her scaling awakening level as you get her to 60 after doing the two awakenings. So, she doesn't seem super great in PvE from just looking at this. PvP, though, may be pretty dope because of the super armor. You'll be able to just beat on people, like, regardless of whether they're hitting you or not. I'm sure she could find some use in PvP, definitely, and I'm excited to test her out. Because there's some things that I don't like, like Sakura's basic attacks. She just seems to get knocked out of them really easily, regardless, regardless of who she's fighting. So, being able to give her some sort of hyper armor may be cool. Of course, that stems from if Mari is protect, because Sakura just likes blue too much for me to take blue away from her. But I don't know if, if Mari is protect, suppress, or assist yet. I just have that text that I read you for her ability, so you guys know what she will be able to do. The link to her little, I guess, banner is in the thumbnail for the video and speaking of thumbnails I've had issues with YouTube like they've been taking down my thumbnails for whatever reason even though they're not inappropriate and they are within guidelines so you'll notice some videos are like missing a thumbnail and I keep putting them back up I did complain about the first video with the issue and it seems to have been fixed yesterday's video has the issue so I complained about it and I'll see if I can get that fixed if today's video has the issue, I'm sorry, I will get it fixed as well. But I'm just letting you guys know I'm not being lazy and not making thumbnails. For some reason, they are just being removed. Either way, the little like banner for Mari will be in the thumbnail for the video, along with Yuki taunting all Maris. And I will have a link in the description to the Facebook for that announcement for anyone who wants like a better look at it. As well as the link to the Emily teaser video, if I didn't state that already, that will be in the description. As well as the Discord link, that will also be there for anyone interested in the server invite. And with that, that will end the video. I just wanted to get that news out to you guys and cover it. I waited a couple hours to see if they said anything else, so... It's probably a little later than most people would prefer, but... The video is here. Anyone who did miss out on the news, I'm happy to provide it to you. If you did find today's video helpful or informative, please like and subscribe as it really does help out the channel. From there, you guys have a great rest of your day. May you have good luck in your gotchas in the arena. Please don't dread Emily. Like, I would hate for her to become Street Fighter 4 Sagat. Like, I know all of you probably have never played fighting games. They probably won't get the reference. But Street Fighter 4 Sagat was hated just because he was God tier and OP. Don't hate Emily. Like, she's a sweetheart. Like, give the character a shot. Don't be mad at her because more Saki isn't out yet. Just let the character come out, see what happens. And, you, you know, who knows? You may end up liking her or maining her. So, just don't have any... Please don't wave at me, you gremlin. Anyway, please don't have any, like, misconceptions or hatred for the character. Or any character for that matter, except she who shall not be named. She's a travesty and a sin. And I have to go wash my mouth out because I accidentally said her name once. 
Anyway, you guys have a great day and take care.